fighting game is the Please bring me to the blue corner, representing Lake Norman Muay Thai, Jordan the Nine-Tailed Fox. Here goes Jordan, the Nine-Tailed Fox, fighting out of Lake Norman Muay Thai. Yes, sir, it's rematch time. We're gonna see him run it back with Mr. Cliff Gunderson after the draw for the 145 pound title two shows ago. Back in March, these two guys went to war. Close enough to make it a draw after now a point bring deduction. Me to the red corner, representing the Raleigh Institute of Martial Arts, Cliff Gunderson! That was really good, man, with that height. Man, that's something else. I feel like Jordan, the Nine-Tail Fox, could easily fight at 135. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I just think that, you know, as far as the last fight goes, Cliff, you know, he, uh, he, he, he was leading the way, and maybe there were some times where he couldn't even finish Jordan, but he just let him stay in it a little too long. And uh, I'm thinking that we're seeing a much more in shape Cliff Gunderson now. We're seeing a much more prepared Cliff Gunderson now. But we've also got a much more knowledgeable Jordan Fox on the other side of the ring who knows exactly what Cliff Gunderson brings to the table now. Uh, he is a huge 145. Yes, sir, he is. These Al two Coley men. once again is the man in the middle. For the belt, Cliff Gunderson. Cliff Gunderson Jordan, shredded to the T. The nine-tailed Fox. The rematch. Here we go. Underway. 145 title. Cliff Five Gunderson. long, hard rounds potentially. Double tap with the kick. Jordan seems to be walking him down. Good overhand. Ooh, good liver kick. Yeah, a lot of these body kicks from uh, from Cliff, they're, they're going to add up. You know, Jordan Fox, you can walk through those first four or five of those, but once they start really adding up, you, the tough the tough guy thing kind of goes Adam out the in window. in a corner. Oh! Big hit from Jordan Fox Huge there. Huge overhand. He chooses to stand in a corner. Another. Follows up again with another. He's just waiting on it. That's what it is. He's trying to counter him. Not a bad idea. If you, got, if you know what you're doing, do it. Apparently we have some headgear. technical difficulty with the headgear. Clearly he was blind. Thank God the ref finally saw that. Did it. Yeah. Took a few seconds. I've had that happen to me before. I was getting lit up with some punches and gleasons. My headgear was turned the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, Big leg kick from Jordan Fox. Leg kick. Oh, Jordan throwing big bomb. Walking him down. His head is in the rope. Oh. Oh, nice dirty boxing Ooh, from Jordan. Flying but knee now from Cliff, Cliff Gunnison. Flying knee. That was beautiful. Really good clinch work here from Phil. I mean, Cliff Gunnison, pardon me. Cliff Gunderson already having words with the referee again. That's what led to that point deduction in the last fight. Now a different referee having words again. Loading up is Jordan Fox. I think, they're, I think I'm hearing them exchange some words in the clinch. Ooh. Just because he caught it didn't mean he did not take the power from that kick. Oh, man. Got him in the corner. Good dirty boxing. Yeah, Jordan Fox landed some big shots, but he was getting beat up a little bit. Keep in mind, everybody, this fight is a five-rounder. They cannot fight at that pace for five rounds. Well, who knows? <laughs> if they do, I know it's... I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of like world-class kickboxers that cannot fight at the pace that... Cliff Gunderson was just fighting that for five straight rounds. But this is amateur kickboxing. We never know what we're going to see here. And Jordan Fox is about as tough as they come. You're definitely right about that. 
Cliff Gunnison using some really good technique in that round. You had Jordan Fox trying to counter. He stood in one spot waiting for uh, for uh, uh, Cliff to come in and try to counter off of it. Round number two is underway. We have Jordan the Ninetale Fox versus Cliff Gunnison. This fight has been everything it's been hyped up to be so far. Yeah, so far, I mean, if the first round's anything to go off of, this is going to be much better than their first affair. Wow. Big walk, Teep. Walks right into him. Gunderson now circling. I, I like, like this. This is the style we need to see from him. I feel like Fox doesn't respect his power. Gunderson is just like way too content to brawl with Jordan Fox. And maybe it's like the, the personal issues from the last fight, the, de the deduction, the, the trash talk or whatever. Maybe he just wants to brawl with him. But uh, he is – he is Again, we're having some difficulty with the headgear. He's Mike. doing amazing when he's circling out and around and just picking him apart. But then he gets in these exchanges where he gets clinched and the fight gets a little dirty. Here we go. He's going to walk right into him again. Cliff Gunderson got off the railroad tracks, though, that wow. time instead of standing there. Loaded that switch kick up. Oh, good, good right hand from Fox. But that just aggravated him. Oh, now he's – Really working the body. Wow. Gunnarsson is bullying him in the corner there. When they, when they get into a clinch exchange, Cliff is really taking it there, man. And that's kind of where Fox looks like he wants it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. Cliff is really putting it on him. Now the single leg comes out. That's how you know it's, it's getting bad. Tries to hammer fist him. Those body shots are really adding up. Beautiful turnout right there. Oh, needed a body nice from knee Fox. From Jordan Fox showing us he's still here. He's still here. Fox has a heart of a line, man. Oh, nice oh. body work there from Gundo. Gunderson putting some really good strikes together. Oh, team kick, low, Jeez. high, cross. He's just putting everything he has in his arsenal. Jordan Fox Good has knee. stopped moving for the most part now. Jordan needs to get his second win and have something to answer back. Yeah, the footwork for Jordan Fox has to come back soon or he's he going to be in a world to of be hurt. Two rounds down so far. Oh, my God, he's hammer fist. hammer fisting Cliff Gunderson in the clinch. Be advised, everybody, this is a five-round fight. That's what they say when the belt is on the line. Marcelo Rodriguez, our matchmaker himself, walking around with the strap, getting ready to award it to our winner. I have heard that it will be Omar Omio Hassan that takes on the winner of this unless they plan on doing a 135 kickboxing title. Uh-oh, we have a doctor stepping in. It seems to be the issue here. He's got some kind of weird obtusion on his neck from either the kicks or something, I'm not sure. Some movement now. Oh, good uppercut from Fox, but he's in the clinch right now, taking some really mean knees. Good team kick from Gunderson. Oh, high kick from Gunderson. 
Answer him back, Jordan Fox. Oh, good overhand from Jordan. Knee by Cliff. Oh, that was a big shot from Jordan Fox. Oh, by liver well. shots. And the clinch over here from Gunderson. Oh, now Gunderson getting muscled around a little bit. No, he's swinging it back around. Wow. Oh, right into the solar plex from Gunderson's Gunderson. Gunderson's clinch fighting has been amazing in this, in, this, uh, in this fight. Teep kick from Fox. He's off balance. He's oh, liver shots all day. He's getting beat up now. He's getting bullied in the corner. Nice uppercut, but he can't quite get out of the corner here. He's having a lot of trouble just fighting his way out. Oh, oh that was a big shot. One, two for Cliff. Another needed a body. Man, Cliff is abusing the ribs and the body. And those body shots are going to break you down. You could have the most cardio on the planet. Look at him. He's already coughing. He's coughing a little bit. Oh, he's not even throwing Oh, my gosh. Anymore. Look at him against the ropes. Unloading with body shots, man. Jordan really needs to dig deep. Cliff Gunderson smoking more ribs than a barbecue chef. I agree with you, and I'm online. Oh, another <laughs> kick to the body. I am starving. <laughs> Ten oh. seconds left in this round. He's using hammer fist to the body. That's a first for me seeing. I mean, what else can he do? Get He's struggling it. so much. I don't think surviving and waiting for Gunderson to have another po point deducted is going to be a valid strategy in this particular outing. So far it looks like Cliff Gunderson is up two rounds on my book. Three. This is the third round? This is the fourth oh, round. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. This is a really good one to watch, people. Jordan, nine tail five. Cliff Gunderson Cliff looking Gunderson. fired up in the corner there. He looks good. He still looks fresh. He's looking in shape too. He looks like Peter Parker in the old in the old Spider-Man movies when he first wakes up and has abs for the first time. <laughs> oh, oh, another body shot from Cliff. He's trying to bully. Fox is trying to use some strength and bully him in his corner. But yeah, it's so it's so interesting because he's trying to use like the bully mentality tactics, and then he just ends up getting in the bullied. corner getting bullied. Yeah. yeah. Body shots really taking a toll. Yeah, that, that switch kick was phenomenal from Gunderson there. Oh, needed a body. The clinch fighting and the knee work has been amazing for Gunderson, an area where I felt like Jordan Fox really almost like was able to nullify him in the last fight. Now Jordan Fox getting absolutely Those mauled. Those are exposed right there. Getting mauled oh. in the clinch. Jordan Fox with the body lock. The refs got to step in. So much fight time lost to the to just stalling in the clinch. Oh, that spinning back fist, the He's one that he got him, him in, got him in so much trouble in the last fight, makes an appearance. He's really just throwing anything. I think Fox is so exhausted. Yeah. I think the ribs have just been cooked Cliff, thoroughly. <laughs> Cliff Gunnison really has an answer for everything here. Just, just putting it. He's peppering him in his corner. God, Body shots. I can't shots. believe this ref is just not even giving him a standing eight count or anything. His headgear is messed up again. Yeah, he's about to stop the fight for the clinch or the headgear one, <laughs> but he won't stop for a standing eight count when a guy is just getting pelted in the face, unanswered, and the body. Oh, oh big Jordan Fox with a fist. But he's in a clinch, Sp getting need. <laughs> spinning back fist of his own. Had nothing behind it. <laughs> Cliff Gunderson said, yes, been a back fist, take my clinch. Jordan oh, Fox in a Cliff. world of trouble. What a mean body kick. With one round to go and not a lot of answers found in the first four rounds. I got it, four rounds. Gunderson oh, all Gunderson. smiles. Still on his feet, doesn't even want to sit.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving into the fifth and final round of the Fight For It featherweight kickboxing title, y'all. Get on your feet for these two men. These guys are really killing it. A lot of heart out of the corner of Jordan, nine, the nine-tailed fox, and tons of technique from Cliff Gunnison. I mean, he's putting on a striking clinic, high-low, low-high, double tap with the switch kick. He looks Man, that, really clean tonight. That combo he had where he went to both sides of the body with kicks and then followed up with a, sw with a teep down the middle, a phenomenal oh, yeah, display. Man. I mean, Now we have a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction over here. <laughs> here we go. The last <laughs> round. Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> Jeez. Jordan, like Fox, karate kid. Jordan Fox going for a, the stunt man finish there. Oh, my Lord. Dropped him in a corner. Yeah, that was one blow to the ribs. I think that was Fox's so ribs are the world. Bad. He hurt. absorbed that. He's scared of the body shot. Huh? Yes, he is. Oh, he's going for it again. Another oh, body big, shot. Big, big crosses to the body for Jordan for uh, Cliff Gunderson. Cliff Gunderson is really being technical. Now he knows where he's hurt. He's been working that body pretty much every round. Oh, another mean one. Oh, head kick from Cliff. Tosses him in a corner. Yeah, Cliff is really oh throwing him God. around. Oh, my God. He is manhandling him. <laughs> this ref. This ref is. He's standing in a corner like a sitting duck. Trash. Oh, body shots. Working the body, ref should split this up. They're not doing it. Oh man, a hammer fist to the face from Jordan Fox. Oh, big knee from Jordan. Sticking to jab in his face is Cliff Gunnarsson. Putting pressure against the corner here. Applying that knee to the body, which has been highly successful for him. Very in this surprised fight. the refs letting this go on. I feel like there's oh, just no hooks, need for hooks. this. <laughs> wow. He's coughing in the corner. Why are you not calling this fight? He's not answering the corner. Like, stop the fight. The fight should have been stopped. Stop it. Horrible refing that fight. It, it. Hey, why didn't he stop that fight? He should have stopped that fight earlier. A blind man could have seen that Jordan Fox was in no position to leave the corner or answer the call. It was over long before that. That's just dangerous right there. That, that really disgusts me. He called a, a, a gear a, a equipment timeout in the middle of a string of strikes, a combo. I mean, I don't know. It's just really a big championship. It's a championship fight. It's a really big disservice to these athletes when you have to tarnish their victories with something like that. And you have to think about Jordan Fox and the rest of his career and the amount of damage he just into, just took for no reason. Like not taking everything, anything everything, away. Everything past the third round was just unnecessary damage. Not taking anything away from him. You know, Jordan Fox, tough kid, man. But he was in the corner. He was getting peppered. No standing eight count. Then he had a, a, a headgear malfunction. He went to fix it. He had his arms on the ropes when the ref said fight. Yeah, I really you think know, that the... I think they should have been called it a while I think ago. the ref had a little bit of a distaste for some of the antics of Gunderson and some of the words exchanged with Gunderson in the corner. And uh, and it really took away from his ability to ref this fight. And I'm really disappointed in the outcome here. At the end of the day, it's all about the safety of the fighters. 
that's the exactly. Rush job. And that's why, yeah, that's that's why I'm so upset, honestly, because I felt like there was a long stretch of time where Jordan Fox was not safe in there. Jordan seems to still be a little bit Ladies off. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner via knockout at 158 of the fifth round, Cliff Gunderson! Outstanding performance from Cliff Gunderson. Cliff I Gunderson taking home the 145 pound kickboxing strap for Fight For It. Another dominant display in the kickboxing ring for him. He leaves Hickory, North Carolina, the champion at last. Well earned. It was a phenomenal performance from start to finish. Did everything he said he was going to do and more. Looked in better shape than we've ever seen him in in here. And truly the performance of a champion, the physique of a champion.